All right, welcome to the next tutorial of uh, making a Chrome extension. In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to make a background script. And what a background script is basically the connector between the Chrome browser and the, the content script. Um, so we can listen to events that happen in the entire browser. So in order to make a it's called service worker um, service worker script we do background then service worker worker and then just background.js so let's create our background.js and in here let's see what are we going to do what permissions do we have we have web navigation so since this was this YouTube shorts remover and so far we've only made this beautiful thing um, let's actually make the YouTube shorts thing so basically what we, what we want to do is if we go to YouTube and we click a short Mark Zuckerberg then we want it to redirect to the actual video and not the dumb shorts thing this Mark Zuckerberg didn't have it's a little bit annoying all right so what we need to do then is just Chrome so we get the browser dot web navigation dot on history state changed dot add listener listener so what we do now is we listen to everything history changes so if we go to youtube now our history changes and then if we if you click our history changes um yeah and then we basically just want a function in here a function in there and with this function we just want to see um you know if it's a let's, let's just actually console log what we get so we get an event um, thing there it's called a parameter there um and then you just log it so see what what data we get that we can modify and then we need to reload our nice little thing history state change oh sorry guys it's actually supposed to be on history state updated there we go now it should work just fine just clear that all right so if you notice we now have a new little thing here and it's the service worker so if you click here we open the service lo worker little console so it doesn't console log directly to the normal console but into this this thing here the difference between yeah. each time we go to a new website it will log the the URL and all those things. So here we get all the things that we can change. But if we actually look at our script, we can make it a bit more clever because you can actually add a filter to it. And what a filter is, is basically it only, it only runs if it matches the filter requirements. So let's create a filter. So a filter is just an object with the filter type we want and we want to do filter for the URL because we're going to check if the URL contains here, pet name Winston type of thing so what we do is we just do an object oh sorry an object of the filter we want to do and then URL matches and then https youtube.com and then we want to check if path contains. So if path contains shorts, right? So what this does is it che checks first the URL and then What's the, going on? the path, which is this thing, right? So if that thing, if the path contains short, Under. it's a short. But we can actually just change it to watch and it becomes a normal video. I'm nervous. So let's do that so we get the url with if we do e.url right because if we check the url object 
we got e which is the object and then dot url here and now we just want to replace shorts with um, watch so let's get the new url so const new url equals to e dot url dot replace shorts with uh, watch and then let's console.log new sorry new url and let's update a little script so now each time we go to a a youtube short it should tell us customized the shorts url perfect now we just need to redirect the tab to that url and to do that we do chrome.tabs.update and then e.tab id so we get the tab id here also with what tab is um has the up, uh, history changed and then what we want to edit update about it so we want to update the url to um new url perfect now we should have a fully functioning little script that doesn't allow us to go to dumb shorts anymore rating perfect rating donuts from cheap to ex let's try another one subscriptions let's see this one the difference between, the difference between somebody who perfect all right that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video.